Hello everyone, Sam is here from myforestmagicwave.com um, making this uh, small video about bad pattern just for a refreshment, reminder or you know just the textbook uh, revision. Um, okay, this is um, just going to make it uh, to the point and quick, all right? Um, and uh, the another reason is that I have uh, too many videos and, and all these uh, webinar recording that uh, newcomers are having a hard time finding those uh, particular things. So I said, well, let me make a few new uh, videos as a reminder, so, and then, you know, I'll send out in the email so everybody will see them. And uh, it will be a, a revision for the old folks. Okay, anyway, so um, I saw one pattern uh, in the making, so I said, well, let me start from here. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, uh, what I'm showing is called a bad pattern, and um, uh, there is a conventional way to trade them after finishing and complete uh, the pattern. But uh, my way is a little different, and that's why uh, I made I made my own uh, diagrams and or figures, whatever you can call them, right here. Just you know, th this is called a uh, bearish bat. You know, everything has like bullish and bearish, right? So. Uh, I, I saw one uh, right now in the making, so I'm going to explain this and that, that show uh, what I saw. This is bearish bad pattern. So what is it, basically, and what are the calculation and how you trade it? So let's say there's a move uh, from X to A on the chart. Any move, and then you see, usually it's, it's a fast move, it's a momentous move, and, and uh, impulse wave, which you should call. And then uh, you have... a uh, reaction of that um, after hitting a support or, or resistance uh, which we call a correction of that move either a, a rally or <coughs> a fall so um, after when you point, point those two points out uh, X and A and the correction let's say in this case uh, X is uh, uh, up there and then price drop and create a point A that's an impulse wave and then the correction is to the upside and uh, trying to make a point B, okay? So usually uh, when you draw the FIB, we measure these moves with the Fibonacci tool. You all know that. So we uh, pull the FIB from X to A to see where this B is going to finish, all right? Um, it could finish in four levels. Uh, first is 38%, the other one is 50, the other one is 63. Uh, I mean 61.8, and then... 78.6, right? So these are the basic four levels that usually the correction goes. Now, every each and every level has different uh, characteristic and it gives us a different uh, pattern, okay? So uh, we're talking about a bad pattern here. So let's say, uh, no, I'd rather not talk about others because it will be a, conf you know, a confusion. So what is the bad pattern that... Uh, if the B point stops at 51%, uh, above 38%, and around 50%, not go beyond 50%. If it is 61.8%, then it's not going to be a bad pattern. It's going to be something else. It's called Gertle. We'll talk about that later. But for a bad pattern, you must have 50 or less, not more, 50%. 38% or 50%. First pullback at point B equal 38 to 50 percent, right? So that's where if it goes and hit the 61.8 percent line, then it's not going to be a bad pattern. If there is one, we will call it a girdle. I will explain that later, okay? So remember that B point should not go and touch 61 percent. It must be below 61.8 percent and most likely around 50 percent. So once you have this B point at 50 percent, then you start watching and then the price should create C point somewhere here in between A and B. Again, it should be, it could be between, as long as it is above A and below B, it, 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 it is C point. But usually it is between 38% or, or, and 88% of AB, somewhere here, right? So <clears throat> that's the point C. And after that, if this one is 50 and this one is point C, right here, usually my own calculation, my understanding, which you're not going to find anywhere else, 
is the C point comes and hit the 23.6% line of the same fib you have drawn from X to A. So when you draw a fib from X to A, you will notice that B point hits 50% and then C comes to 23.6% line and bounce. If that happened, then it is going for D. If it breaks the 23.6% line, then it may go to break this point A and go down for another pattern we call AB is equal to CD. I'll explain that later. But for bad, it should bounce from 23.6% line. It could go a little bit you know, further down to 11.4% line and bounce from there, but usually it is around 23.6%. Sorry, I'm having hiccups. Okay, so this, this, are, this is a calculation. So B point should be anywhere between 38 to 50 percent, then C is, you know, 38 and uh, 88 percent, somewhere in between that, and then bounce and go up towards this D pattern, and once the D pattern is finished at 88.6 percent, then you short this after confirmation. My uh, way of trading is a little different, and uh, as you can see here, um, I don't have that here, I don't know why. But let me see if I can see the real one. Okay, this this is the one. Um, come on, man. All right. Now, same thing. Same thing, but I have some notes written here. This is how I trade it. Uh, and I teach uh, how to trade this one. So trade number one is buy at C. 23.6% if you see a bounce and you see an, uh, an entry, then you can make first uh, entry here. Then trade number two is buy at the break of point B. One, point B is right here. Okay. So as soon as you break above it, then you make another entry. And then once the pattern is finished, you close the buy orders and then you reverse it and find your short entry and you short and then try to take this conventional way of trading and catch all these pips. Okay. So this is how I trade it. The conventional way is just that, you know, once the, the pattern is finished, at point D, you short it. If it's a bearish, if it's a bullish, the opposite one, then the D point is down here somewhere. Once you know you reach the D point, then you uh, buy it. And in the bearish bad pattern, once you reach here at point D, pattern is finished at 88.6 percent, you sell it. Okay. So these are the calculations, and this is called a bad pattern. And you should all have this pattern, right? So I don't have don't have to uh, explain it any more further. So this is what it is. But what I saw right now here, and how you can judge if you see these on indexes, like you know, euro index or USD index, and then you know that okay, you know, C point is reached, and then we are going for D. It's a long distance. The currency is gonna get strong, and then what you do is you find a weaker currency against that currency and start shorting the damn thing. Now, <clears throat> what's happening here? Let me show you. This is, um, oh, come on. What happened? Computer froze. Uh, no. Hold on. I hear this. Okay. okay I think I got too many things open here. That's why. <coughs> Not this one, man. Come on. 
Don't worry about these um, orders and all this going on. This is testing. This is uh, EA testing on the other broker, uh, BFX. So don't pay attention to that. <clears throat> why it is not going down and why I need to open this uh, broker. Okay, now finally I got this. All right. Oh boy. All right. <clears throat> okay, now we were talking about the bad pattern and all the calculation and everything. So now I have the this thing here. This is called this is Euro index. Okay. And uh this is uh <clears throat> See when I have uh year running on this broker, year running on the other one, it it, it kills the um, you know the memory it takes a lot of memory because my ears are really big and they you know freeze the computer <laughs> so I'm lucky that that didn't happen yet all right so <clears throat> let's continue so bad patterns so right now what we have here is euro index okay so I saw this thing here so you can see X and the price comes here a and then you have a point B exactly it actually hit a couple of times it you know hit this this is a 50 percent line it hit the 50 percent came down 23.6 percent then went up again to hit the 20 50 percent then came down right now and it is at 26.3 percent I mean 20 23.6 percent right and this could be our point C if you go below this then the first target would be point A and then if you break that then it will be A different pattern which we call AB is equal to CD 100% FIB extension okay and that happens most of the time all the time you know you, you'll see everywhere this AB is equal to CD okay that is a possibility as well but since we have a um, uh, euro index is uh, like a heavily uh, bullish trend as you can see here's a weekly chart right so uh, it's a very good chance that from point C we go uh, and try to make another high. Okay. And uh, now at, at the moment we are at 23.6%. So that's what I was talking about that, you know, this is uh, point B is in place, point C is in place, but we haven't, have not started the bounce yet. So what is happening is that uh, we're going to be watching this, point C to get a bounce if we get a bounce it, it is again our, my strategies if then if then each and every point every point every chart every time frame you draw your trend lines horizontal levels support resistance and you just follow if then if this happened then I'll do this if that happened then I'll do this okay so at this point we will be watching this level to either break or bounce if it bounces, we know where it's going. Okay, so we're gonna be watching this. If it bounces, let's say it start going up. So okay, we see now. You know the trend line from X to B, and that breaks. Then you get to point B. You might dip a little bit first and then break it, go up, get you know come down, find support at B, and then start going up. But the point is that if we start bouncing from twenty three point C, uh, twenty uh, twenty three point six then we know at least a general idea that it might be going towards D and that means that Euro will be getting a strong. So then you can easily go and start watching Euro pairs where the Euro currency is involved like Euro USD, Euro Yen and then see that how many chances of those going up on those pairs. How many chances you have because you, when you get Euro gets stronger Euro is on the left hand side, Euro USD, Euro Yen, you know what I'm saying? So uh, when the currency is getting strong and it is on the left hand side, the pair goes up. Okay. So this is um, good to know that, okay, if, the, if this uh, index is start bouncing from here, uh, from C and going towards D, then the Euro is getting strong and then you can go and see and choose the currency which is let's say if USD really weak and Euro is getting strong in this way we're seeing then a good chance for Euro USD to go up 
and then let's say uh, uh, if this thing is going up, that means euro is getting strong, and then you go and see a uh, euro yen yen index, which is also showing that it's going to get strong. Then this pair euro yen is not going to move because euro is getting strong, and the yen is getting strong. Then you know where the pair is going to go nowhere. You need a one strong currency, and then you know one weak currency for the pair to move. So this is how it is, and. Um, uh, just watch this pair. Not this is not the pair. Sorry, <laughs> watch this euro index, uh, and we I'll be watching as well. And then we will make a decision to trade euro yen, euro pound if you if you trade that pair or euro uh, USD. You know what I'm saying? According to these uh, uh, index and these patterns, they give you a just uh, you know like a general idea what's happening, what's not, because you can see here that how these this price. Uh, you know, regards these uh, levels, Fibonacci numbers, okay? You can see here, is, you know, it went up and then came back 23.6% uh, line, bounced, touched the 50% to the pip, then came back down, you know, then bounced again, went up, again, kissed the line 50% uh, exactly. So what makes it doing this? Nature, well, all, all I can say that, you know, this, you know, no person or organization can be doing that. <laughs> okay, this market is not controlled like a stock market. You know, is controlled by you know some organization. You know, Chicago Mercantile Exchange or some some different you know body organization, big organization. But this first market is not controlled, so it's just a free market. And uh, these prices just move the way they move. That's all. So. This is uh, what I was showing, and you all have this pattern, and uh, try to find these patterns at uh, different places, you know, four-hour chart. Uh, this is a four-hour chart, daily, four-hour, weekly, and then it, it gives you a sense of idea uh, where the price is going, you know, uh, or possibly be going in the future. And uh, if you're, or your pair that you want to trade, is also coinciding with that. Uh, yeah, okay, you know, euro is getting strong, and the dollar index showing that it's getting weaker, and then you go and see the euro USD showing you a bullish sign there, then it's like, you know, everything is matching. So you have more probability than usual, okay? And you can have more confidence, you can trade more confidently, and, and you know, maybe bigger position, you know, and aggressive. So it's always, you know, good to know these things and um, uh, either or this is going to make either go up from this point, make bad pattern or break this, go down and make A, B is equal to C pattern. It cannot go, <laughs> you know, left or right uh, and, and do nothing, you know. So it has to go in either one of these directions. So this is it for now. Um, bad pattern explained. And again, with a little bit of uh, variation in uh, levels, the numbers, instead of 50%, if, what if it goes to 61%, I'll explain later in another video. That would be a different pattern, slight different, but, you know, we call it different, and we, the name is different, it moves different, the calculation is a little bit different. Then you have a butterfly, and uh, I only trade these three, that's all, you know, either bad, girtly, or butterfly. Uh, crab, I see it as a you know you can lose in that in that thing because that that, that fourth wave reaction is a fourth wave and fourth wave is very shallow. It's only 38 percent, which also comes in three waves, up down up or down up down. So it's like a wobble, and then if you don't know what you're doing, you can easily get killed in that. All right, so uh, that pattern is uh, not for me. Uh, butterfly is good, bat is very good. Gertle is also, you know, okay. But um, on bad pattern or butterfly pattern, I have, like I said, that I start trade this pattern from point C. So I have more room and, you know, like a three trades actually, you know, from trade, you know, make an entry at C and then break a point B and then short uh, at point D, right? So you have a lot to make if you exactly understand what's happening and what this thing is uh, and what are the calculations. Just follow the, you know, the price according to that. All right. So um, this is it for now.
and the next video I'll be making uh, either Gertle or Butterfly and uh, then after that maybe some you know Elliot Wave explain triangles explain uh, videos um, to just you know refreshment and uh, you know study our textbook again that's it time to time we should do that right okay all right for now bye now uh, and uh, talk to you guys later